The surprising news first. Through the effect of time dilation, time travel is theoretically possible, but not in the way that Dr. Emmett Brown and Marty McFly on screen, and only into the future. In spite of all of our knowledge of physics, however, there are always people who claim to have made a detour to days long gone. But how credible do these crazy reports actually appear? Well, that's up to you to decide in the end. Be sure to watch our video to the end and make up your own mind. Do you like our videos? Then give us a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel for more exciting videos. We would also be happy if you commented on this video and let us know your thoughts. Now let's get started. Operation Gamora In 1932, the journalist J. Bernard Hutton and the photographer Joachim Brandt were commissioned to create a report on the Hamburg shipyard. At first, the visit couldn't have been more uneventful until the bomb started raining down on the Hanseatic city. Completely terrified, the two men realized they had just been caught up in a devastating air raid. However, on their escape, they insisted on snapping a few more photos of the explosive apocalypse. Later, nobody wanted to believe the story of the reporters. After all, the last war was already 14 years ago. Believing they had one last trick up their sleeve, Hutton and Brandt had their photos developed. But then, the inexplicable happened. The buildings on the recordings were completely intact, and there was no trace of a hellish bomb inferno. Eleven years later, Hutton opened the morning paper in London and almost choked on his coffee. The article was about Operation Gamora, a series of air raids that the residents of Hamburg were confronted with from July 24th to August 3rd, 1943. The accompanying photos looked exactly like what Hutton had seen with his own eyes in 1932. The Green Children In the 12th century, two green-skinned children were seen in Woolpit, a village in the east county of Suffolk. After learning the English language, the children said they were from the land of St. Martin, where they did not see the sun for many years. When asked where this land was, the children couldn't say. However, they did say that they believed in Jesus Christ and that there are churches in their homeland. However, they did not know about baptism. According to a modern interpretation of the story, it is believed that the children may have been poisoned with arsenic at some point in their youth. Arsenic poisoning can cause severe skin discoloration, but we don't know how this would have led to the children claiming they were from a village that didn't exist. The story behind the green children of Woolpit has never been solved. Meeting with Marie Antoinette If the people have no bread, let them eat cake. Whether Marie Antoinette ever said these words, and in what variation, is still hotly debated today. What is certain, however, is that when two British college professors met at the Palace of Versailles in 1901, Louis XVI's wife had passed away 108 years ago. The things that Eleanor Jourdain and Anne Mobley claim to have seen during their visit to the palace are all the more puzzling. Accordingly, the two women were absolutely convinced they had seen the real Marie Antoinette as she sat relaxed on a stool in front of the Petit Tiennon and drew with complete peace of mind. But that's not all. The other people who appeared out of nowhere were also dressed like typical residents of the late 18th century. When the unbelieving women were approached by a guide, all the figures vanished into thin air. Given that the eyewitnesses were highly educated women, a pressing question arises. Did they actually witness a time glitch? Or did they see the ghosts of Marie Antoinette and her court? Or did the two women ultimately just allow themselves a little fun? All of these questions will probably never be answered. The Man from Tarid In 1954, a man wanted to enter Japan. So far, so unspectacular. However, when customs officials examined the traveler's identification papers, they noticed a number of inconsistencies. The passport indicated that the stranger would come from a land called Tarid, but such a nation simply did not exist. When officials then pulled out a map of the world and asked the man to show the location of his homeland, he pointed to Andorra, but wondered about the wrong name of the country. 
Although the enigmatic traveler claimed that Tarid had existed for over 1,000 years, authorities suspected a case of identity forgery. To get to the bottom of the matter, the man was placed in a locked hotel room guarded by two armed guards. When they entered the room the next morning, they couldn't believe their eyes. The stranger seemed to have disappeared from the face of the earth. The passport that had been kept in the security office at the airport had also apparently vanished into thin air. The man from Tarid has never been seen since. Hakan Norkvist A plumber's job with consequences, when Hakan Norkvist realized on August 30, 2006, that his kitchen was flooded, he crawled under the sink to fix the problem. But when he looked inside the closet, he noticed that it had turned into a meter-long tunnel. After squeezing through the passage, he found in disbelief that he had landed in the future, in the year 2042 to be precise. Curiously, he also encountered a 72-year-old gentleman there who turned out to be the older version of himself. So not only did both men have the exact same tattoos, the old Hakan could give the young man details from his life that no one else could know. In fact, the two versions of the same person are said to have snapped a photo together. What may sound like a nasty acid trip proves one thing. When in doubt, it's always better to call a professional plumber. John Titer John Titer is a pseudonym of a man who claims to have traveled from the year 2036, about 15 years into the future. In our world, he first popped up in the year 2000 with a mission of finding an old IBM computer from 1975 and taking it back with him into the future. He says he needed this computer to use the Linux operating system in the year 2038. For some reason, this OS became super important in 2036 and he needed a classic 32-bit computer to boot into it. He says he tried buying one on eBay twice but was always outbid at the last second. Because of this, he had no choice but to turn to the members of an online community for help in procuring one of these elusive machines. John Titer's story is one of the most interesting stories of time travel, as he made predictions that would come true just a few years later. He showed members of the forum a photo of his time machine and even predicted that the New York City Twin Towers would be struck just a year later. He also predicted that a major world war would break out in the United States and several Middle Eastern countries and predicted that gas prices would skyrocket as a result. All of these things proved to be true. He even went as far as to accurately pick lottery numbers. However, on March 24, 2001, John Titer found what he had come for, hopped back in his time machine, and traveled back to the future, never to be heard from again. Strange Car Ride in 1969, two men in southwest Louisiana stopped for a short lunch break before rejoining Route 167. As they drove along, they finally saw an old car ahead, moving very slowly, with a 1940 license plate. As the two men approached the vehicle, they saw a woman and a small child inside, their clothes also completely out of date. Soon after, they saw that the driver's tears were streaming down her face. Wanting to help the stranger, they gestured for her to stop for a moment, to which the devastated woman nodded in affirmation. But when the men pulled to the side of the road and looked around, they thought they had lost their minds. All of a sudden, there was no sign of the car that had been driving behind them just a second before. The Stock Market Shark Forget Jordan Belfort, the real wolf on Wall Street dates back to 2256 and was arrested on January 28, 2003. Within two weeks, Andrew Carlson turned $800 into a whopping $350 million in the stock market. As the police suspected a case of insider trading, the newly minted Wall Street millionaire was taken into custody. After all, how else could you explain that everything Andrew invested in turned into pure gold? When asked how he got his secret inside information, he replied that he was around 250 years in the future. So of course, he would know exactly how each share would develop. Shortly after being released on bail, Andrew disappeared from the scene forever. What is particularly puzzling is the fact that he predicted the date of the U.S. invasion in Iraq to the day. Das Café 
In 1968, Charlotte Woolburton discovered a cafe she had never seen before. The chance find turned out to be a real stroke of luck. The friendly staff, the pleasant atmosphere, the food, everything was exactly to Charlotte's taste. So it seemed only logical to the American that she would revisit the place a few days later. And she probably would have done that if it had still existed. When Charlotte found herself at the cafe's address, there was a full-fledged supermarket. But how could this be? How is it possible to demolish a cafe in just a few days and build a new shop out of the ground? Did she only imagine her visit to the cafe in the end? Later, Charlotte found out that the inn did exist, although it had closed its doors many years ago. Detour to the 50s it's 1996 when a police officer and his wife go shopping in Liverpool. While the wife wanted to browse in a CD store, the man preferred to visit a bookstore. When he left the shop soon after, the street was strangely quiet. But then a van that looked like it had been built in the 1950s honked its horn. Even stranger was the fact that passers-by also wore clothes that hadn't been fashionable in decades. After shaking himself briefly, the policeman wanted to return to the bookstore, but in its place, was a woman's clothing store called Crips. Knees trembling, he walked through the front door and found the building had turned back into a bookstore. The police officer later found out that Crips hadn't existed since the 1950s. CIA Time Travel Program Project Pegasus Andrew Bazzaggio claims to be a time traveler as well. He says that he can see both the past and the future, with all of this being made possible due to a CIA time travel program known as Project Pegasus. The project was carried out between 1962 and 1972 and was designed to contact previous presidents, teleport people to Mars, and even maintain relationships with aliens, allegedly of course. Aside from the idea of being able to physically travel back in time, Time, Project Pegasus would also help to create two new technologies, the ability to teleport and travel back in time through means of a holograph. Andrew told crazy stories about his time working with the CIA and says that he now has a goal of becoming president so that he can declassify all the information about the project and bring the technology to the masses. If this were ever to happen, history would be permanently changed forever. But what is particularly scary is that if Andrew is telling the truth, we would never know. Even if the government was able to change the past and impact the future, we would still have to grow up, blissfully unaware of the changes. Alien Invasion Warning in October 2017, police officers at the U.S. state of Wyoming became aware of a man who pretended to be from the future. He introduced himself as Bryant Johnson and said he was tasked with saving the world. He reportedly came from the year 2048 and was sent here by aliens to warn residents about an impending race of evil aliens who threatened to wipe out humanity. However, as it would turn out, he had traveled too far back into the past. He was supposed to travel to 20 2018, but his machine miscalculated and sent him too far back. His case is interesting because police noted that he was acting strangely and smelled like alcohol. He justified this by saying the aliens had given him alcohol so he would be able to survive the journey into the past. But this was obviously a bit too far-fetched to believe. In the end, the officers took him in and placed him in a holding cell until he was sober. So folks, now it's your turn. What do you think of the crazy reports we just brought to you? And do you think time travel into the past is possible? We look forward to your comments. Leave us a like and subscribe to stay up to date from now on. And with that, thanks for watching, have a good one, and see you next time.